I'll never forget walking off the elevator and looking at a sign that says Leukemia and Lymphoma Board. And I was like, wow. And Bill just looked at me and said, I don't want to die here. I said, we're not going to. We're not going to die here. I was diagnosed with AML uh, at age 51 in 2008. I'll never forget, he walked out in the hall and he had a tie on and he ripped his tie just in half and threw it away. And I thought, oh, this is, this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard. We can do this, but it's gonna be hard. The fears that I had were, um, were that my children and my family would, would take this really hard. That was, that was the biggest fear that I had. I didn't know what AML was. I thought I didn't really know much about leukemia other than it was a blood cancer. So acute myeloid leukemia. It's a very um, rapidly fatal disease without treatment. I was given a 40% chance of cure, and I thought that that was really good numbers. Uh, and I thought, you know, let's get after it, and let's get this done, and everybody remain positive, and uh, let's, we'll, we're going to win. It's going to work. There are many types of leukemia, and I would say that for the majority of them, we have developed either new immunotherapy or new drugs that have dramatically changed um, the survival and cure rate for these patients. For AML, immunotherapy so far has not been as successful. So in the last 10 years, we, we haven't made huge progress in this disease. About half of our patients we can cure, and half we can't, and that hasn't changed that much. That is a major challenge that we're addressing. <laughs> I just uh, finished five years last year uh, in remission, and uh, I think Dr. Cashin and everybody at, at Siteman is uh, very pleased, as well as I am and my family. It was easy to stay positive because I knew I had the best in all facets of my life uh, on my side. We are widely recognized as the premier leukemia program in the country. The National Cancer Institute provides two very large grants. Um, one's called the PPG, one's called the SPORT. We are the only institution in the country that has both of those in leukemia. The SPORT grant is it's an acronym. It stands for Specialized Program of Research Excellence. There are only two leukemia spores, and it's a program that is really designed to foster innovative new, what's called translational research, which is taking basic observations in the laboratory and trying to make new therapies based on that. Support from the Foundation for Barnes Jewish Hospital and the Cancer Frontier Fund was critical in generating the data that we needed to get this grant. The spores are incredibly uh, competitive and they're very prestigious. It, it provides our patient population with cutting edge research. So I know the percentages are getting better, and it, it's only going to get better from here with more research. Having a patient like Bill and seeing his great response and his cure is, is what we live for as physicians and physician scientists. You know, the, the challenge for us now is to develop research that we can cure everybody. I really am hoping that our research, even if it's a small way, can help um, improve the care of patients with cancer. This excites me. This is what I have a passion for, and I wouldn't do anything else. We always argue who's gonna live the longest, and um, I think he's doing, he's doing great. He's back on track. He's healthy as, as, you know, he loves to ride his bike. He loves to play golf. He's the one that's out every morning walking at seven o'clock in the morning. I want him to live a long, happy life and with me. <laughs> I feel really good about where I am. My dreams for the future would be more of the last five years. It's uh, staying healthy, uh, watching my children grow into adulthood, being around for a long time, lowering my handicap, being able to do the 50 miles that pedal the cause at my age. Uh, I'm looking forward to the future, a long future.